left side. Three infielders shift with the bases loaded to the right side of the infield. Widener throws. It's off the mark outside. Inter interesting decision with two outs. Maybe you wouldn't make it if there were just one out, but to put three infielders on the right side is a bit risky unless you're pretty sure that Widener can throw the right pitch to get Barnum to hit into that shift. The pitch, swing and a miss by Barnum. The count evens at one and one here at the ballpark at Jackson. one nothing the lead for the Generals, an RBI single from Jason Morozowski, plating Jamie Westbrook to end the third inning as Rudy Flores got hung up on the base pads for out number three. Barnum, his first time up, struck out swinging. Widener looking for the same here. 1-1 one, one count, Widener asks Rosario to roll through the signs again. Widener comes set. Taylor Widener delivers. Outside and high, it's off the plate. Slight breeze whipping at the jersey of Taylor Widener. Gorgeous evening for baseball. 70 degrees at game time. Winds blowing out to center field about nine miles an hour. Bases full of Barons. The 2 1. Barnum lifts it high and foul off into the seats left side. That's good because Kevin Medrano is the only man to the left side of second base anywhere near the bullpen or the Bud Light party deck down the third base line. Anywhere over there. He's got a lot of ground to cover. Two and two, the count on Keon Barnum. Barnum intimidating at 6'5", 245. The 2-2. Two -two. Downstairs, strike three called. Barnum can't believe it. He looks at Matt Bates with concern. 